Across the bridge and over the creek is this well-crafted A-frame tiny house. Very magical. It is really cool. We're going to be taking a tour of it today, so let's go check it out. Today we are located in Hawking Hills, Ohio at the Pinnacle A-Frame. It's a new tiny house A-Frame cabin, well crafted, clean looking at all angles. You can see how it's up on these stilts at the bottom of the hillside. And the unique thing about this property is there's a bridge and a creek and it just adds to the magical experience here. We're on a 100 acre farm here. And whenever you pull up onto the property, own private driveway, really close to town. We're like four minutes from the town, about 15 minutes from any of the Hawking Hills activities here. And you pull up, park. The best thing here, in my opinion, is this bridge that goes across the creek. So the creek separates you and your tiny house A-frame. And they built this beautiful bridge with string lights that goes all the way across it. It's probably 40 feet long or something like that. We're pretty high up. It's a legit bridge. I like it a lot. Creek on both sides. It's a large creek. Water running. And you can walk across this and then your A-frame is revealed behind these trees. The A-frame is up on these stilts so there's some stuff going on underneath. But the first thing you run into is your fire pit area. A couple chairs out here with the fire pit. There's also a grill over here on this right side. And then we have the A-frame cabin. If we walk under it, underneath these stilts, the wood beams everywhere. One thing I do want to point out is I like the color of the wood stain that they used here. I'm not sure what it is. It makes it feel a little bit more luxurious in my opinion. And cozy but underneath we have some patio furniture under here gas fireplace as well and a tv you know it's never going to get weathered under here so if you want to come out here and if you don't want to start the wood fire you can do the gas fire pit here and enjoy your time i like this wood wall they have back here to kind of separate from the woods behind you but overall a nice area underneath your a-frame cabin and we can just overlook the property we have 20 acres of meadow we can overlook and you can explore that walk around it do some trails and there's just a nice private area for an airbnb cabin so back to the a-frame once you're done hanging out at this bottom area which has a lot to do we can walk up these steps and there's a platform right here that has your hot tub there's string lights around this we're surrounded by all of the trees and nature really large hot tub nice blue water inside can't go wrong so overall there is a lot of outdoor uh, amenities here at the pinnacle a-frame you won't be bored whenever you're done with all of that we can continue up the platform and around to the back of the a-frame this is where your front door or back door is at i guess where you walk inside a couple chairs out here and you can see we are right up against the hillside at this property so let's walk through this door and check out the interior inside this is a tiny house i would consider it there is only one bedroom and one bathroom the bedroom is up in the loft the bathroom is down on the bottom floor and your living room and kitchen area walking inside it is all open and bright in here as typical a-frames are can't go wrong with that and we're immediately inside of your kitchen space so this kitchen is on this right side refrigerator countertops this countertop is really cool looking with the epoxy look with the wood i believe that's what it is and you have bar seating on this left side two chairs here it's up higher than your other countertop which is nice and this kind of circles and cubbies in the kitchen area so there is some cabinets down below some floating shelves above and your other accessories for your kitchen is actually on this wall so they have this rack right here that has all of your coffee and tea supplies your microwave over here i kind of I like how they have the coffee bar set up here plenty of options they have lots of creamer as well which is important i always mention that and just overall a nice simple kitchen to get what you need done and they do have a hot plate that you can uh, pull out from the cabinet and plug in if you do need that but there is no oven but that's okay they do have a really large refrigerator though for a tiny house and that's the kitchen space Behind this is just utility closet. Across from this though is your bathroom. This bathroom is pretty large. If we walk through this door, we have the tiled shower on this right side of the glass wall. Really long subway tile that's kind of textured, wavy. That kind of tile with the black grout. Nice waterfall shower head on this right side. The handle though is on this left side so you can turn on your shower, wait for it to heat up, and you don't have to get wet. Sometimes the handle's underneath the shower head and it's really hard, but this is a nice setup. And then across from this, we have your vanity. There's shiplap up against this wall. Floating shelves with all this decor. And then your toilet here on this left side. They leave a lot of stuff for you here at this A-frame cabin. And then back behind this cubby is a couple 
places to put your luggage, just a little storage area, which is nice. You can walk out of that, and walking past your kitchen, we have all of these windows that overlook your property, the creek, the 20-acre meadow, lets in a lot of natural light here, and this is where your living room and seating options are. This right side has these two chairs here to lounge, chill at, and then over here is your actual living room area. Two couches in here, these are pretty cool, they convert into like mini beds. If you lower the back and pull out the bottom, it kind of forms into the square bed. Definitely for children, I laid on it and I am taller than it is, so I could sleep on it if I had to, but if you have kids, you can go sleep up the top. The kids, I'm sure, would love to sleep on these pull-out beds and watch TV, play video games, whatever it is. If you're not using them as beds, you can use them as these two couches here. This faces your TV and your fireplace. You can just turn on the fireplace by pushing a button. Really easy pretty cozy living room option and then you have your spiral staircase right in the middle of all of this but if you do want to walk outside though there is a door off of this front side and we have a front deck area a couple seats out here and we can overlook the property and just enjoy your time so this is the perfect place for some morning coffee some sunrise or you might see some deer out in the meadow who knows back inside up the spiral staircase we enter into your loft area up here is your bed right here in the middle and a couple nightstands on both sides there's four windows up here so nice lighting up here as well one thing i do want to point out is the railing look at the quality of the craftsmanship of this railing the oak wood with the details all in it and this huge glass panel for your railing just a little bit higher quality than normal uh, as compared to like some metal railing or some just generic railing i do like this a lot this option and then there is an ac slash heating unit up here just for the loft which is really nice so you can set the temperature up here however you want it it's tucked behind uh, one of the nightstands and there is also one downstairs so you can have different temperatures it's really nice tiny houses a lot of times just have the one and this one has both so even more luxurious than uh what you might imagine so this is everything inside this place what do you guys think let me know i'm gonna butt in real quick this is after i left the airbnb i talked to the host as i was leaving some really cool facts this is a floodplain that's why it's located up on these stilts he weighed the a-frame guess how much it weighs 37,000 pounds. I've never met a host that knows how much their house weighs. So he said he weighed it so he knew it was extra sturdy whenever he's building the base for this to hold up the A-frame. So 37,000 pounds. That is really cool. The host and his father built this all themselves. It took uh, about a year and a half, I believe is what he was saying. And I think they just did an incredible work and they clean it themselves. They manage it themselves. That's what I like to see with Airbnbs whenever the hosts are really involved with it and they don't just hand it off to some company to manage it for them. It makes it feel very welcoming, more special and feels like you're supporting a small business, which is always really fun with Airbnbs, if you ask me. They're also building a even smaller tiny house on this property across the creek down the way. They're built in the process of building one right now. I got to go check it out a little bit. I'm really liking the design of this one. The exterior just looks really cool. It's a little bit Scandinavian looking, which is what I really like. Also up on the stilts, so I imagine the platforms are going to be the same. So I'm sure whenever that one's done, I'll have to come back and check that one out. I think I'm going to like that one a lot. So if you want to book this place, the link is down in the description below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.